unmet needs in syncope management currently are multiple. But if I have to choose one, it's the lack of experts worldwide, principally. And so we lack experts in syncope, we lack syncope units and good educational programs. We have very good guidelines, both Europeans and American. The problem is that uh, not uh, every country follow the guidelines. So we need more experts, more units, more research and more educational programs, even at the level of uh, basic uh, education, I mean for medical students. The reason is that uh, running a syncope unit as a tertiary center in Malmö, we receive a lot of referrals for unexplained syncope in patients who had received pacemaker. And it seems that doctors are not aware of the other than arrhythmia causes of uh, syncope. And I'm talking about orthostatic hypotension, uh, autonomic failure, vasovagal syncope of, of recurrent uh, character and other problems just like uh, neurological problems and even psychogenic spells. So most of arrhythmias experts are not aware that these problems may coexist with uh, arrhythmia which is well treated with pacemaker. So our current research is focused upon three main uh, subjects. The first one is that we uh, explore genetic, neuroendocrine and uh, epidemiological aspect of unexplained syncope and so-called cardiovascular dysautonomia, including recurrent vasovagal syncope, uh, orthostatic hypotension and postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. The second line is that we are exploring autoimmune etiology of postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, which is actually a syndrome of unknown etiology with uh, many patients affected, heavily affected by this disease. And we lack treatment, we lack diagnostic possibilities. So this is the second line of our research. The third line of our research is developing uh, new diagnostic methods. So we're working on cerebral oximetry, measured during syncopal uh, spells, during syncopal attacks. We're working on uh, skin perfusion and we're working on long-term uh, monitoring using both uh, implantable and non-implantable devices. I hope that uh, we're going to have uh, two good syncopy sessions one today and the second uh, one tomorrow. We're going to talk about crash course in syncope for arrhythmia specialists. So we want to discuss all the small aspects that I mentioned before. I mean, how to deal with patients who faint with pacemaker, how we can develop educational programs for uh, syncope experts, and uh, maybe you would like to have more space for such uncommon uh, conditions like POTS, post-orthostatic tachycardia syndrome.